boys and girls, welcome back to another lesson. Today we're going to review and wrap up our science lesson, which we've been doing all term. Now we remember that we are learning about the life cycle of a frog. Fantastic! And we compared it a lot to the life cycle of a butterfly. Just like the butterfly came out and just like the butterfly laid their eggs, then a caterpillar came out of the egg. He ate it and ate and ate and grew bigger. And then he went into his cocoon. And when he came out of the cocoon, he became a butterfly. So just how that butterfly went through different stages to become the butterfly. The frog goes through different stages where he grows and then turns into his adult frog. So let's begin and review what the four different stages we learned about during this term. Mummy frog lays the egg in pond stagnant water. And why I say stagnant water is because it needs to be calm. Because if there's a lot of movement and whatnot, it might destroy the eggs. So the mummy frog lays her eggs in stagnant water. Now, once the tadpoles have grown enough, they will hatch and they will hatch into the water. Now, if they're in the water, can they breathe like how we breathe? No, they can't breathe like how we breathe. They breathe using gills, just like fish do. That's right. Now, when the tadpole comes out, he comes out and eats his first meal is his egg. And then he goes on to eat algae. Now, algae is that green substance, which I was telling you grows in ponds and seawater. Once the tadpole grows his back legs and his front legs, he becomes a, that's right, froglet. Now the froglet is still swimming in the sea, so in the pond, so he's still using his gills, but he has grown his front legs and his back legs. So he's still swimming around using his webbed feet, and he is in the pond, still using his gills, but he still has his tail. That's how we know he's a froglet. Now, once the froglet has grown enough, he begins to turn into the adult frog. The adult frog we can recognize because he has no tail and he's out of the water. Now, once he's out of the water, he has developed his lungs, just like how we have lungs. The frog now has lungs. I've attached here our froggy dance and song, which we loved and it explains the stages in a more fun way than Mrs. Davis. And I've also attached another lesson of one that I found a teacher who did it. And it also explains the same thing, but in, an, in a different way, which the children might like. Right. Great. So now I want us to go through the different stages, one, two, three, and four, using our pictures that I'm going to attach in this worksheet. I'd love you to color them or paint them if you'd like. And I want you to label it in the, either if it's one, two, three, or four just like this example is. Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you, once you've colored them, cut them out and stick them in the correct place. Mom and dad, I would like you to facilitate this. I would like you to help them. But if they're having trouble identifying the stage correctly on their own, review the frog lessons throughout the week and then come back to that and see if they can get it independently. If they can get it independently, that's great. They've been listening and they've been following and paying attention. But if they need a little review, that's fine. I'll attach the links in this video at the bottom and you can review them as you go. Now this lesson is just a recap, follow up and a little assessment to see if they really understood what the four stages were and to ask them questions while you're doing the activity of which stage is which, and ask them a few questions about it. 
Why is it the egg? How do you know it's a frog leg? What, how can you tell it's a frog? These are different questions that you can use while they're coloring the, the different stages in the correct order. All right, I cannot wait to see your finished product and to see if you understood it. And if you didn't, that's fine. Take your time. And I want to see your beautiful work once you've finished it. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.